In this study, we focus in pancreatic cancer, one of the most aggressive cancer types, with a median five-year survival of 9%. A minor subset of patients survive more than five years post-surgery. However, the factors that determine such enigmatic long-term survival are unknown. Previous studies have looked at genetic differences between those long-term survivors and the rest of the patients and found no differences. We have focused on two pancreatic cancer cohorts from two geographically different regions. We have compared long-term survivors, which are patients that survive more than five years with an average survival of 10 years, with matched short-term survivors that live less than five years with an average survival of one and a half year. We focus on two factors, the first one being microbial composition of the tumors, and the second, the tumor immunomicroenvironment. Our findings were, First, we found that long-term survivors' tumors have higher microbial diversity, which means the composition of microbes in their tumors of long-term survivors was more heterogeneous. This suggests that tumor microbial diversity could be associated with benefit. Second, we found the tumor microbial signature that distinguishes long-term survivors from short-term survivors in both cohorts. This suggests that tumor microbial signature could be used as a biomarker predictive of long-term survivorship. Third, we found that long-term survivors' tumors have stronger immunoactivation, while the short-term survivors have more immune suppression. We then asked the question, can we modulate the tumor microbiome and immune suppression? To answer this question, we compared the microbial distribution in tumors and stools of patients with pancreatic cancer. And we also compare with adjacent normal regions. We found that around 25% of the composition of microbes in tumors is identical to the microbial composition of their gut. Therefore, this suggests that if we modulate the gut microbiome, we can also alter the tumor microbiome. We next collected fecal specimens from patients with pancreatic cancer, named in these light short-term survivors, with long-term survivors and healthy controls. We transplanted these fecal specimens onto mice that had received antibiotics, and we then inoculated tumors. We found that the mice that received fecal specimens from short-term survivors or patients with pancreatic cancer had the larger tumors, compared with mice that received long-term survivors stools or healthy control stools. Finally, we found that murine tumors immunomicroenvironment were mimicking the respecting fecal microbial transplant donors with more immune suppression on the tumors from mice transplanted with short-term survivors material compared with more immunoactivation on the tumors from mice transplanted with long-term survivors specimen. In conclusion, we have unraveled microbial events unique to pancreatic cancer long-term survivors. Due to the gut to tumor microbial crosstalk, fecal microbial transplant can modulate tumor growth and immune responses. And finally, we believe FMT emerges as a potential new therapy for pancreatic cancer.